hey guys i'm back again with another video today i'm going to be doing a client makeup tutorial on dark skin so this is how the look came out very soft and simple and i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this look first i started off by cleansing my client's face with um, my cellular cleansing water this is just to get any um, residue that's on my client's face completely off her skin so you want to make sure that the face is completely bare the next thing I'm going in with is my moisturizer so I use the Bobbi Brown um, base and I'm just going to apply that all over her face and I'm also going to just blend it out with my fingers just to make sure that it's very um, embedded into the skin the next thing that I'm going in with is a serum this one is by it cosmetics and it's called bye bye pores and I'm just going to apply that with my fingers again and make sure that it is completely into my client's skin And guys, you want to make sure that each um, product that you place on your client's skin, you let it dry down first before you get to the um, next product. So just always remember to dry down each product. So that's why I'm getting my fan and doing that. Now guys, I've been loving face first, you know, doing the foundation first and everything else. Um, last so right now I'm just sticking her eyebrows down just because um, I just want them to stay in place um, I use some lash glue in order to do that but um, with face first you really have to determine if it'll really work with the particular client based on their eyebrows so for this I probably should have did her eyebrows first because as you could see, you know, it just needs a lot of shaping and stuff like that. So I should have definitely shaped it first and then did the face, but you know, it's okay. Makeup is makeup and we still get it done at the end of the day. <laughs> so I sprayed her face with my Morphe setting spray before I applied my foundation, which is the NARS Radiant Foundation. Um, and as you guys can see, it's literally her perfect match. I think this is like the darkest shade. And then I mixed it with some of um, of a Maybelline foundation, but this is literally like her perfect shade, guys. So, Right now, guys, I'm just blending out that foundation with a slanted foundation brush. Um, this is a dense brush, so I could be able to really get into that foundation and get full coverage. So I'm just patting that into her skin. Next, I'm going in with some concealer. I'm using a flat brush, a flat concealer brush. I'm applying my e.l.f. Camo Concealer to underneath her eyes and just smoothing that out, making sure that it's nice and smooth. And I'm gonna be applying this on all the places that I normally apply concealer, which is under the eyes, on the bridge of the nose, the forehead, and the chin area. This is a shade that is probably two tones lighter than her skin tone, so that's what I'm using.
Now I'm gonna start the process of blending out that concealer. So I usually like to start with the edges first. As you guys can see, I'm doing the edges of the concealer and then making my way towards the middle. And that just gives it a nice blurred effect and makes it blend into the foundation more seamlessly. So I'm just gonna blend out all that concealer. And for underneath the eyes, I like to use the Real Techniques setting brush to blend that out. Um, the brush that I used before was a dense brush. Um, I used that for like the face and then underneath the eye, I like to go in with a more focused brush. So I take the Real Techniques setting brush and I um, blend out that concealer underneath the eyes. So next what I like to do is add a little bit of a very light concealer underneath her eyes on her forehead and stuff just to really bring out the face and really make it highlighted. Um, for the liquid blush I used, um, what was that, I think um, the P. Louise paint. I'm probably going to leave it right next to this so you guys can see but I used the P. Louise, it's like a hot pink. Um, and that's perfect for like darker skin. The hot pink colors are perfect for darker skin. So that's why I used that shade and I'm just blending everything out and making sure that it's nice and seamless. To set her face, I used a mixture of the Sasha Buttercup and the Laura Mercier um, chocolate, like the darkest shade. I mixed those two and I'm setting underneath her eyes. I literally just take a light, light, light um, bit of powder and use my powder puff to just like blend that into the skin. As you guys can see, I'm just pressing it in. And just to set the majority of her face, I took my Maybelline powder and I just um, dusted that all over her face just to set the places that I didn't touch yet. And then to set her blush, I'm just taking my Alamar Cosmetics blush and just applying that over the cream blush that we already applied just to really set it. And now I'm going in to the eyebrows now. I'm taking my um, eyebrow pencil. I think this is the New York Absolute in the shade Smoke. And I'm going to fill in her eyebrows. Um, like I said, I probably should have did her eyebrows first because they do need a lot of shaping. But, um, you know, I did make it work, so...
Next, I'm taking that same concealer that I used um, on her face for her eyebrows, and I'm taking a flat brush, this is almost like a paint brush, and I'm going to just carve out her eyebrows with this. When you're done um, carving out the eyebrows, you want to blend that concealer out right away and then move on to the other side. Um, I do this because it does dry pretty quickly, so you want to make sure that you're blending out as you go. Next, I took my MAC Paint Pots in the shade Painterly, and I'm just going to apply that all over her lid with a dense um, brush. Um, this is going to act as my eyeshadow base, so yeah, so I went straight into the eyeshadow. So for the um, crease area, I just got like a nice brown. I believe this is like a contour shade that I chose. Um, and I'm just using that as like a little transition shade and applying that all over um, her crease. She wanted some browns and gold, so I decided to use this brown shimmer. And as you guys can see, I put um, some powder underneath as well, underneath her eyes, because I noticed that the shadow was falling and you don't want it to really fall on your face. So you want to just add that excess powder just to catch any glitter or any sparkles that fall on your face, okay? Next, I'm using the Sephora Precision Liner. This is my favorite liner, and I'm just going to do a nice, simple wing line nothing too crazy this is a soft glam so we're gonna keep it really simple now moving on to lashes i'm gonna take my lash glue and just apply that directly onto the lash line you can do this or you can add it onto the lashes and just have it dry but this is just a little faster so i just applied it to her um lash line and then i'm going to apply some nice natural lashes after the eyes are done you just want to dust off that extra powder and then I'm going to work on her lips. Um, I use this retractable lip liner. This is actually from the Sephora collection. It's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna use that to line her lips. You can use this or you could use even like a dark black, you know, liner as well because she is dark skin. So anything dark will really pop on her skin. So yeah. I also used um, this nude lipstick. Um, I believe this is from Morphe and it's in the shade Virgin. I'm just going to apply that to the center of her lips and have her pat her lips and then I'm just going to blend it out with a actual brush. This gives me a nice blend and make sure that everything um, just looks seamless with the transition from the liner to the lipstick. And then I'm going to just apply a nice simple gloss over the top of that and it looks super super cute. And yeah guys, that is the final look. A simple, simple soft glam for dark skin. I hope you guys were able to learn a few tips and tricks that I use so that you can utilize it with your clients as well or even on yourself. And yeah guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!